Hey guys, Brady here, and as promised, this is my retro games, and not not the consoles, unfortunately, because um, I'm not like Captain Nintendo, dude, where he did um, retro games and consoles twice, and then he did modern day consoles. Um, <clears throat> modern day games are not going to happen, because I have too many modern games. You know, like 360, Wii, Wii U, Switch, um, DS, 3DS. You guys need to be more considerate with your suggestions. But, today I'm going to be starting with the con- I'm going to be going in order of which the- of when the consoles first appeared on the market. <clears throat> so we're starting with Super Nintendo and Game Boy. And I don't know which one came first, Super Nintendo or Game Boy. So I'll just go ahead and show my Game Boy game. Kirby's Dream Land, this is my only Game Boy game. Um, absolute perfect condition, except it has the words, the letters K and P on the back. Other than that, amazing condition. Pretty good game. And now for the Super Nintendo. Now, bear with me as I um, address why some of these, why I bought these games. Um, the thing is, I bought these games when I bought my Retro Duo Portable. I had to get two games to go with it. So, stupidly, I bought two of these. So, um, not knowing what I want to get, um, I bought these two games. Um, Mario All-Stars, without Mario World, I made the stupid decision not to get it with Mario World. Because I'd rather get Mario World on the separate cartridge, because why not? And yes, as you can see, I got it from Luki Games. They're an amazing retro game site. Highly recommend you guys go check that out. And if you don't want to check out Luki Games, just check out GameStop. They have a ton of retro games too. Kirby's Dream Course. Not the best Kirby spinoff. I mean, it's great when you play it with two-player. Um, so yeah. And that's it. That's literally all I have. Let me know what game, Super Nintendo games I should get. Should I get the Donkey Kong Country games, which is what my friend is recommending me? Uh, sh should I get Link to the Past? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Street Fighter. I'm trying to think. A lot of games on the Super Nintendo have to do with Disney. You know, like um, Aladdin. That's I heard that's one of, a really good Super Nintendo Disney game. Um, Goof Troop which is like a top-down adventure, kind of like Zelda, and Lion King. Lion King, I don't, I don't know it did well. I don't think it did well. But, moving on. Which, this is going to be even harder to grab. Hold up. Give me one second. Ugh. Let's do... GameCube. Alright, so... I only have a few games that have the case, unfortunately, not all of my games have the cases, but I just thought I'd show you guys the ones that I have the cases for. Here we go. Lord have mercy. Um, Mario Superstar Baseball. Hardest story mode I've ever played in the game, in a game. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. It's not as good as um, Super Sluggers, because Super Sluggers is clean. Um, Kirby Air Ride. Um, really fun racing game. I didn't expect myself to like a Kirby racing game. Still, it's really good. Um, hold up. Sonic Mega Collection. This is actually my very, very first Sonic game, believe it or not. Which means I have all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 games to play. 7 in 1. Can't be done. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh... Not as stupid as this game is, um, Crash Breath of Cortex, I love Crash Bandicoot, but this game is mediocre in most people's eyes. I like it, it's just that it's really low in quality, like the graphics aren't that good. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, one of everyone's favorite GameCube game. Everyone wants this game to be remade. I personally think that, um, this game, part Paper Mario 64 and pa Sticker Star get a second chance at, um, Remasters. I mean, hey, Color Splash would be a good idea, but Color Splash flopped terribly. So, it would probably. I mean, I would like to see Color Splash be remade and have some of its problems fixed, 
but this is the go-to for a remake of a Paper Mario game. Crash Nitro Kart, my favorite racing game of all time. Really good game. Um, and hey, with CTR Nitro Fueled out, I mean, there's tracks in CTR Nitro Fueled that are from this game, and that alone just makes me happy. Um, and then, Beautiful Joe, a really good Capcom platformer made by Capcom. Did you know that, um, it's an Easter egg, Riggin Rob the Robot. Hey, it's Captain Blue. Can I get, can I get your autograph? No. You must save the world. What do you mean? <laughs> I love this game, especially the voice acting. Henshinoko, baby! Um... And PS2 games now. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Disc GameCube games. <laughs> yeah. Um, dudes, like, dudes, my, my dudes. These are the, these are all of my GameCube games, which is I have a big collection of GameCube games, except I really want the case for some of these games. Some of the cases look really epic. Um, like this game's case, Super Smash Bros. Melee, like this game. I just, I prefer Brawl over this, but this game is great. Um, low in quality, but amazing. Um, Mario Golf Toast Duel Tour. Um, uh, Mario Golf, um, Hot uh, the Hot Shots Golf, uh, Mario's answer to Hot Shots Golf. Well, Hot Shots Golf came, ar came around at this time when this game released, so there's that. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash, not the best Mario Kart, but it's pretty fun, actually. Having two persons on, two people on one cart, nice. Uh, Mario Sunshine, an actually really good Mario game. I, I just d didn't dive enough deeper into it like most people did. Pac-Man Fever, pretty mediocre party game, but it's great if you play it with two, three, or four. Uh, two or three people, yeah. One, an extra person or an extra few others as well. Um, Over the Hedge, this game is always the car. Um, we actually a really good beat-em-up game. I love it. And I actually did beat this game just in case you want to let just want just in case you want to know uh lego star wars the video game it's pretty mediocre but it's the first of its kind um lego star wars 2 the original trilogy a bit better but i still prefer complete saga chicken little this the movie may have been um priceless and okay but this is Ten times more priceless than anything else. Buy this game. It's just really, really good. Don't buy the GBA version yet. Buy the GameCube version so you can experience some. That game, just like I did. Um, the Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. Really, really, really good beat em up. I adore this game to frickin' maximum levels. It's just such a good game. The first Incredibles game was so frickin' confusing. This game is actually fun. Not confusing at all. There's even bonus levels too, just in case you want to know. And last but not least for the GameCube games, Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion. There's also uh, another Jimmy Neutron game called Attack of the Twinkies. I never got into Attack of the Twinkies. Jet Fusion is the way to go. Good at Jet! Um, oh, crap. Hold up. I got it. Do something with the GameCube games. All right, next is PS2. Now I do not have any PS2 games, but enough. And I don't have enough. I mean, there are some PS2 games that I really want to get, like Final Fantasy X and Crash Twin Sanity, Crazy Taxi, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, um, Sonic Heroes. This I I love playing this game with my brother. A ton because we've always played a two-player racing mode and we try to help each other out but it turns out that you can't work together even you even if you guys are separated by teams team Sonic team dark team chaotic or team Rose great game nothing else to say about it um, Disney's extreme skate adventure this is not Tony Hawk's pro skater it's pretty decent actually I mean if you think about it Woody riding a skateboard. 
what game can make you do that? It's like saying that Disney Infinity can make you ride a skateboard. <laughs> um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Oh, look, it's, to it's Tony Hawk. Uh, um, welcome to my world. Um, I actually never played this game, but hey, if I, had, if I could get my PS2 to work, I could actually enjoy this game. Probably not, but hey, it's worth a shot. And lastly, but certainly, certainly, not leastly, leastly is not even a word, Game Boy Advance. Now, once again, just like my PS2 games, and Super Nintendo games, and Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance is not a console that I really collect games for, because I, I don't have the time to, uh, so let's get into it. Um, Kirby's... Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, great condition even though there's some marker on there, I don't care, it's a Game Boy game, I love it. Um, failure at parents, break into rules, a 2D side scroller, I wonder what this game was like on the consoles, because I remember playing uh, failure at parents Shadow Showdown and hating it, That's not a, that was not a very good game, but hey, it's Nickelodeon, what could you, what, what, um, what else could you say about it? Plus, THQ makes every Nickelodeon game. So, what can what else can you say about it? Nicktoons Unite. Um, it's great on consoles. This is a 2D platformer, not a 3D game. And honestly, um, Nicktoons Unite is what started the 3D Nickelodeon games. And then came uh, Attack of the Toybots with great um, gameplay mechanics. It also had a Game Boy Advance and DS version. And then came Blobs of Doom, which is um, technically a SpongeBob game, but it has more Nickelodeon characters in it. And that game had a DS version and a Game Boy Advance version, I think. But this, great 2D platformer. But it's not as good as the console version, I've heard. Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, um, probably the last um, GBA game that I bought as of yet right now. Um, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, really, really awesome game. I really wish I could uh, get all the other Mario advances you know like the original which has which is basically super mario 2 this ha is mario world and mario bros combined into one mario advance 3 is yoshi's island and mario advance 4 is Yo is mario 3 um so yeah and finally kirby nightmare and dreamland the fantastic remake of the illustrious kirby's adventure i adore this game so, this collection may not have been my biggest, but it certainly is not my smallest. Is, is, is not my smallest. I'm probably not going to show you guys the big mess I made, because it's not that big of a mess. Look at that. Beautiful. So anyways, if you guys want to see more bliss, I will, um watch your comments I'll see your comments in the comment section don't worry um, <laughs> anyways sayonara peeps take care